What's up, YouTube? What's up, Bordeaux Nation? It's your boy, D-Nasty. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. I've been kind of taking a hiatus, um, you know, with work and everything. Uh, but I've been keeping track, and then shout out to everybody who's been doing really good at Locals. Shout out to uh, everybody in Dallas and Fort Worth, and uh, Epic Cards and Games, etc., etc. You know, good, good on them. Um, I recently just went undefeated in a tournament. Uh, I haven't played in a while. I played a 40 card deck. Um, I'll show it to you in a second. I had to get this play match. This play match is beautiful, as you can see. Uh, when I started playing the game um, in 2008, when Cameron Neal and Houston Carter were we lads, uh, Cyber Darks were my favorite deck. Um, I played that deck with Chris Card and Deck Devi and Dark Arm Dragon all for years. Just um, you know, showing them the ropes. And once they announced this tournament, I had to play. Uh, so I wasn't going to play the tournament at Epic. I didn't tell anybody I was coming. And um, then I found out that they were hosting it in Richardson, which is just 15 minutes away from me. So I went there instead because I was out till 5 a.m. last night uh, building furniture. I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. Uh, shout out to my sister. And I went to the tournament and I won. So. I'm going to show y'all the deck profiles, 40 cards. Um, if you think I'm going to explain every card, you're goddamn right. Uh, you need to know what every card that does. Uh, first and foremost, this is a cyber deck, a cyber dark deck. This is not a cyber dragon deck, so if all you know are cyber dragon combos, you're not going to fare well in the tournament. Uh, this won't take too long. Uh, first and foremost, I play all six cyber darks. The deck comes with 43 cards, so you can run all 43. I ran 40, so I'll, I'll reveal what cards I did run later. Um, as it's attack directly, kill does 300 when it kills something in damage. In battle, horn tramples. Claw lets you search for any cyberdark spell or trap. Can let you search for any cyberdark spell or monster. This is this and Cyber Dragon Core, the best cards in the entire deck. In Chimera, um, you can discard a card to search Power Bond, and when it's sent to the graveyard, you can send another Cyber Dark. This is kind of a, just an extra body. I'm kind of surprised that this is hollow. But uh, yeah, you want six Cyber Darks. They all have, well, not all of them. Chimera doesn't have the equip effect, which is surprising, but all the other Cyber Darks have the effect that when there's someone you can equip from Cooper Dragon and the game. Um, hopefully, hopefully everybody at least knows that. Next is the Cyber Dragon part of the deck. I run seven Cyber Dragons. Uh, Zwei uh, turns into a Cyber Dragon to reveal a spell. We got a Cyber Dragon. Hers is an extra summon if you summon a Cyber Dragon. It's really good if you try to do a Power Bond play. Uh, hers is good. I think I call this hers. This is Veer. This is hers. I didn't know how good this card was. People were abusing or using this on me. Then you have Dry, Nasher, which was played in Orcus. Uh, shout out to my profile on here. Y'all can look me up. And Cyber Dragon Core. This is the best card in the deck. This card and um, or Cyber Dragon Cannon is basically a plus three. You would gain access to the entire deck with just these two cards. Um, I might show a combo at the very end of the, at the very end of the deck. Sorry about that. But anyway, it's all the Cyber Darks, and it's all the Cyber Dragons. Again, this is the best card in the deck. Next, you have the Filler Monsters, which is Cyber Pharos. This card is a wall. It confuses when it's on the field, and ironically, it's not a Cyber Dragon, which is just weird. So people just use it as a wall. We have Cyber Valley, which draws you cards, Ling Ling. Uh, you have Morochi, which uh, I, this card actually came up a lot. <laughs> you have the Kaiju, Jizukizuru, Phoenix, and Attachment Cyber. This is a better dragon equip. So anytime you send a dragon, you would send this. And anytime you send a machine, of course, you would send either Orochi or Chimera. When Chimera is sent, you can send another Cyber Dark. So if you're trying to fill your grave up, you would do this. But eight times out of ten, I would send a Rochi because, of course, you want that body, and you want to have a Rochi to stop their big Cyber Dragon pulls push uh, if they try to do one. Which 
So these people don't know how to play this deck. That's all they usually try to do. And once you stop that one Cyber Dragon play, they're done. That's why I went 8-0. Um, that's it for all the monsters. I didn't count um, these, but that's all the monsters that I played. <clears throat> of course, every deck's the same, but I'm still going to explain. These cards are insane. Cyber Dark Realm and Cyber Dark Horizon. This gives you access to Cyber Dragon Core. And this gives you access to Cyber Dragon Core. This gives you access to Cyber Dark, uh, um, Cyber Dark Horn, or not Horn, but, um, the one that searches. I don't know their names. It's the best one in the deck. Claw. Claw grabs the, uh, this. This grabs this. Uh, or this grabs this to grab Claw. This, um, can get you the double summon. Or you would do this. This card is summon Cyber, uh, Cyber Dragon Core. Core will get you this. And then this will get you Claw, Claw will get you this, and this will get you a Cyber Dark. So by then you got like four or five cards for free. Not to mention whatever you drew, so. And any of these were just insane if you saw that combo. These were hollow for a reason. Um. I remember Prayer Plane. I thought you had to have a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard to use this. I thought this was just a pure Rota. So, and since it's Search Core, obviously it was broken. Uh, this card lets you reborn any cyber fusion for free ignoring summon conditions uh, I don't know if you have to summon it at first um, I don't think you have to because it says ignoring summon conditions so this card was amazing all tournament and whenever the fusion monster is going to die by battle of card if you can banish this card instead so it's cards that dump this also dumps a uh, x deck monster for free so you can see how I can summon this search cyber dragon core Core grabs this, and then this will send Cyber End Dragon. Then I'll set this, and then on their turn, I can activate some of Cyber End Dragon for free. They don't have protection. So, that's um, another play you can do. This deck has, was full of combos that if you just didn't know, everybody knows a little bit, it's a classic card. I never drew this card except round four, even in testing, because I tested this deck for a week before the tournament in private. I never drew this card, and my opponent would open this, he was opening this like crazy, he summoned both Cyber Darks on one guy, I was like, man, I, I never thought that good. You got Future Fusion, Emergency to Search Core, Core is just the whole deck, you have Power Bond, um, luckily they didn't put Cyber Dragon Twin in this deck, or this card would be ridiculous. I have no idea where my recording stopped, I must be getting hacked by Los Bozos again. But that's no big deal. Uh, we can continue on where we were going. Fusion deployment. You reveal a fusion. You can summon from the deck. This is an e telly for a fusion material. You're only restricted to summoning from the extra deck. Uh, fusion summoning, I believe. Which is obviously no problem. Uh, from the extra deck. So you can e telly out Cyber Dragon. Or you can e telly out Edge, Heal, or uh, Horn. Uh, you can't do any others because their names not listed on there. This card's really good. Overload Fusion, everybody knows that's a Miracle Fusion for for a Dark Machine. I never activated this card. And this is probably, we're getting to the weaker spells. Summon Dark Inferno protects your Cyber Dark from being targeted and um, I believe it can be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. This is kind of like a Cold Wave. It also lets you uh, target a Cyber Dark monster you control return it to the hand. And you can normal summon another Cyber Dark. Uh, I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, it's not going to trigger anything equipped to it. But like I said, this card's okay. Um, I played it because it was a Cyber Dark card, but it's really not needed. Um, in fact, I might even suggest cutting it for one of the other cards I didn't play, which I'll show later. Uh, Cyber Dark Fusion lets you fusion from field or banished. Um, and that's it. So, enough in the hand. And it has to be banished face up, so you can't fusion with face down material that gets like banished. But this card will be cracked. And it only summons a, uh, a card with Cyber Dragon listed on it. So you can't even bring out any of the Cyber Dark cards. So this card, you can see why. Like, this is good after you activated um, your Cyber Dark Trap. I mean, your Cyber Trap, which I'll show later. But, like I said, these cards are kind of hit or miss. But they're better than the other three cards that were in here. Those are all the spell cards that I ran. And then last but not least is the trap cards. I read every trap that we got. 
they're all getting their own way. Um, once I found out that impermanence was um, super, I was kind of turned off because I wanted it to be common. I'm not a fan of super rares, but hey, congrats. This card, even though I thought it was the second worst trap in the deck, it did save me because I stopped Cyber Dragon Core on my opponent's turn. So, and I probably would have lost. I mean, loss is a big word. He could have stayed in the game. <laughs> I would have won anyway, to be honest. But, uh, this card's okay. Uh, these cards are the same, obviously. You start with Cyber Dragon Core. This one lets you summon Cyber Dragon in for free and it dies a turn later. Um, it doesn't count as a future summon, so you can't bring it back with uh, Call of the Haunted. But you can bring it back with Cyber Eternal or her other way. So, this card's good. Um, everybody know that you know what this does by now. It also turns on other fusion spells later, so this card's really good. All these control cards are were insane for um, when you're going first. I would set any of these two, and the game was just over. Even one is hard enough for two; it just it's just a blowout. Cyber Dark Invasion says you can target a Cyber Dark, <clears throat> equip it with a machine or dragon from either player's grave, and again a thousand, or you can send the equipment pop a card on the field. So I would summon Kiel or just a regular Cyber Dark. Then I'd activate this and I'd equip it with one of their cards or equip it with one of mine. Um, and they would gain a thousand out of nowhere. And uh, even though this card is um, kind of hit or miss, it was really good every time I drew it. Even when I drew dead, I, drew, I just activated this with Kiel. And he sent something to the grave and I just equipped it and he couldn't fight out of it. And Call of the Haunted, everybody knows what that does. This card is okay in his deck. There's nothing really you want to bring back from the grave except for Cyber Dragons and uh, try to fuse them. Um, the Power of Editing. And the last card is a Power Wall. In the anime, you, you would send a, a card per 100 damage you took. Uh, they nerfed it so it was for every 500, which they had to do. So you would take, he would take 3,000 on purpose and mill 3,000, about uh, 30 cards and win the game off of graveyard effects. Kind of like a. Um, uh, grass is greener. <laughs> that's how I basically. But anyway, that's all the trap cards that I have. Um, and that's the whole deck that I ran. I, ran, I went 8 0, went undefeated. Um, here's the fusion lineup. This card's insane. Uh, even in regular Yu Gi Oh!, this is impossible to out. Unless they kaiju you. Uh, it's not affected by your opponent's monsters or card effects, and it's 5,000 attacks. So, I don't know how you're going to lose. There's a way to summon this turn 1 in this deck if you draw broken enough. And because of that, that's the only reason why I played the Kaiju. I was going to side deck Jujutsu Kizaru. Um, but instead I decided to take these cards out. Machine Duke only lets you summon... I mean, there's no way to summon more than one. You can only summon Cyber Dragon with this. So this card, it was uh, meh. So I took it out. Fusion Tag lets you t copy your name. And it doesn't even send it to the grave, so... This card was pretty meh also, although it also lets you kind of summon this guy a little bit easier. Miguel Dagra, if you have this an Overload Fusion, you can send two to the grave, 6,000. The Overload Fusion for this indestructible card. And then nothing in the other deck can out it except for like a, 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 a Kaiju. But um, it's a little risky, so I didn't play it. I elected to play a Kaiju instead, just so, you know, if I go second, I can always out it. But I might cut the Cyber Dark Field spell and play this instead. This mirror was amazing. Um, I highly recommend it to people. I'm gonna link my deck profile so you can just copy it on Dueling on Dueling Book and play mirrors with your friends, especially if you're a Cyber Dark fan. I know there's some Cyber Dark fans out there, so I know they're gonna like this profile, and I love this play map. Uh, I'll try to come back to the game this Christmas or afterwards. I'm just kind of taking a break right now, enjoying Pokemon. You can hear it in the background, and. Um, Shout out to Portal Nation. C congratulations on the subs. I've been here forever, man. And I love y'all. This is Jessica Kribo, and I'm out.